Skyrim is probably the most immersive gaming experience we will ever have, and with over 3,000 files in the immersion category alone, it is near impossible to beat by any other game. Maybe Starfield, we'll see. So let's take a look at 20 of the best mods in the immersion category, at least according to me. Now these mods will all increase your immersion in the world, but I will not be touching on huge overhauls that add complex mechanics that make the game more difficult. I just wanna add some cool smaller details that I feel any game could benefit from. Now this is a feature that absolutely needs to be added in Elder Scrolls 6. Immersive equipment displays makes it so that all your favorite gear will be equipped all at once, which not only makes your character look super cool, heavy, and intimidating, but it's also very realistic. In vanilla, if you had a sword equipped and you changed your bow, the bow would just awkwardly appear on your back, but with this mod, everything will be there, easy for access. Yes, there are a few other mods that attempt to have the same outcome, but this is probably the simplest one to install and to use. Now imagine this amazing scenario. You're drinking a nice warm cup of coffee while you look at the bed, reminiscing of last night's adventure, while all of a sudden you receive a note calling for your immediate aid in battle. So you gotta put on your gear fast. With immersive equipping animations, you can trigger some quick and simple equipping animations when you put on your gear, making your game so much more immersive. Obviously, the gear will still appear on you, but the animations will play pretty quickly, making sure that they're not invasive to the gameplay. This is honestly the perfect compromise. You wouldn't want to see a 3 minute animation play of your character getting the gear from a chest and slowly putting their shoes on one by one. Your character walks as fast in water as they do on land. And that, my friends is what we call unimmersive. And we gotta change that, and I got for you Wade and Water Redone, and I also wanna shout out Loki's Wade and Water, the original mod with this concept that just got a new upgrade. This mod is pretty simple as it makes walking in water be slower than in vanilla as you gotta push with all your might to advance. Now if there was a mod that adds a circular pool in which you can walk in circles creating a strong water current, and then turning around and trying to beat that current, that'd be like the next level for this mod. You know exactly what I'm talking about. While we're on the topic of water, let's take a look at the mod Soaking Wet, a mod that makes your character appear wet for a certain amount of time after being in water. Simply because it's immersive, not because you play as a female. And you have good body hygiene. Boys, I got nothing. Now this isn't the only mod that attempts this, but from my experience, it's the best looking one. The hair is practically impossible to get perfect, but it still looks really good in my opinion. And for our last water theme mod, I got Splashes of Storms. This mod is not only immersive, but so atmospheric, adding splashes of raindrops in the still water of Skyrim. I'm not sure if this is what vanilla looks like, because obviously I have all kinds of mods installed, but you can 100% see what the mod does and it feels so much heavier and realistic. Now let's make the world feel bigger and make your immersion go through the roof with immersive world encounters, adding about 100 new events including some quests to Skyrim, bringing even more life to the game. A lot of these additions would have some conditions you'll have to meet to ensure that it's realistic. For example, a Dark Brotherhood related event will require you to be part of the Brotherhood, or some will require you to have a minimum player level. A cool and immersive one is having bards play music on the streets of solitude, but my favorite one, at least from the ones that I've experienced so far, was having the city be under attack and this guard, who has a custom voice, by the way, will ask you to volunteer in battle. We're also looking for volunteers. Looks to be a bunch of bandits. You can accept or refuse, but refusing means you lost, you're missing out. You can do so many things in Skyrim, and I'm talking even vanilla. But one thing I found really awkward is that there are no animations for some interactions, such as opening doors. I mean, bruh. <laughs> but with this amazing mod, Immersive Interactions by Jerserpa, your character performs context-aware animations when interacting with the world. You will have animations for opening doors, pickpocketing and lockpicking, donating to beggars, and so many more. The most impressive ones are probably the animations for numerous puzzles in games, which... I mean, come on. Come on, this is insane. I mean, looking at how you pray to shrines in vanilla, I'm sorry, but you don't deserve any of these blessings. What is this? There are some other things you can do that you couldn't really do in vanilla, such as training at dummies or gathering wood. This is probably one of the most immersive mods that I've ever seen, and it's definitely among my favorites of all time. There are three things you need for a good narrative video. Cringe. A good Jay Serpa mod, 
and random plushies that no one ever acknowledges. Speaking of JSERPA mods, this one is very interesting. Remote interactions will add certain interactions with NPCs at a distance. You'll be able to call on them from afar and ask them to come over to you rather than you always going to them yourselves. Once you call someone, you'll start going fucking ape shit, and they will come to you to make sure you're okay. Let's say for example that you go to your Vasker and you're looking for your waifu Ayla, but you don't want to search for her yourself. You can just call her from a distance, or let's say you're sitting by the fire and you're being very lazy to get up and order a drink, you can call Holda to come to you and take your order. Now this is some immersive shit, and what's really funny is that no one really asked for this mod, it just came out of nowhere. But I'm so glad it did, it's so cool. And we are now at the third J Serpa mod on the list. We got NPCs wear amulets of Mara. In vanilla, you would always be the one who would have the balls to put on an amulet of Mara and admit you're single and forever alone. But with this mod, other NPCs will also be wearing it, letting you ask them out when you meet all the requirements. This mod adds a whole new layer to the marriage system in game. Once you ask someone out, you can then go to the temple and have a beautiful wedding. But this mod also fixes a bug that locks you out of getting married if, let's say, your spouse gets into an accident. It basically lets you cancel the wedding in that specific scenario that happens to everyone, right? Now let's talk about a weird concept. If you were to lockpick any lock in the game, you'll always be met with a rusty lock design. Well, with the amazing security overhaul series of 3 mods, you can change that by adding many different variations of locks depending on the door or chest you're trying to open. Some designs have some extra cool details such as the magical College of Winterhold locks, featuring a gem that lights up when you get closer to opening it. And then there are designs that... Uh, that... should call her. Immersive Laundry is a mod that I've had in my load order since the old days of Legendary Edition. This mod adds hanging clothes, towels, and carpets that people leave outside to dry, a detail that simply does not exist in vanilla for some reason and it makes the world feel so much more real. It also adds some instruments to clean the laundry such as wide baskets and things that Gen Z babies like me have no idea how to use because we're spoiled and we have washing machines. So I have a question. Where do Skyrim characters poop? Yeah, I do want you to answer that actually. No, yeah, that's a real question. Duty comes in to answer that question as it adds many outhouses everywhere in the map. These porta potty looking things add so much needed immersion because I don't know about you, but when I play a game, my first instinct is to go see the toilets and see if you can flush them. These outhouses include toilet paper, some tools to clean up after yourself, a candle for the smell, Jesus, a book because TikTok did not exist back then, and a magic lamp because you're gonna wish you didn't see or smell whatever is in that hole. I mean, I'm gonna have to censor it, but believe me, it's an actual turd that I'm looking at. JS Rumpled Rugs adds over 50 new variants of rug meshes that are a mess. This is why I don't really like carpets in real life, because they, they get all tangly and stuff, but in Skyrim, it makes sense to have such a mess because of how many people just walk on these carpets. The mod also has a feature that likes to fix them, which is a very nice detail. Blowing in the wind is yet another simple mod that's been out for a while, and all it does, it adds a simple wind effect to signs around towns and villages. This is a very small detail indeed, but to me, it adds so much needed atmosphere. Nocturnal Moths adding moths to light sources at night. Again, small detail, but I believe it adds a lot when you're walking at night and you see moths all around, it's kinda cool. Another cool detail is that you can make them all go away when you hit the lamps, which could get really addicting and result in some unwanted outcomes. So be careful. Seagulls of Skyrim, adding the spawn of the devil himself to the game of Skyrim, making coasts and areas around water feel realistic, but like not, not a, such a good way. These creatures are evil though, so never eat a sandwich when you see one of those flying around. No, I don't think I have issues, what do you mean? For the same effect, we have flying crows, adding flocks of crows to some areas, making them spookier, which is such a cool detail. While I hate seagulls, I have nothing against crows. So call me a bird racist, I don't care. What am I gonna get cancelled for this? And make an apology video? Get my ukulele out? Too soon? Have you ever gotten so mad in Skyrim that you looked at a pot and wanted to pull a Kylo Ren moment? 
With Destructible Skyrim, you can very much do that. This mod makes certain things around the world break into pieces when you hit them, which is a detail that I love in games. And I just love breaking everything I see. No, I don't have issues. Leave me alone. This is one of the coolest immersion mods, and for some reason I don't really see that many people talk about it, so here's some spotlight that it needs. And on that note, I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and comment what your favorite immersion mods are for Skyrim. And if this video does well, I might make a second one because there are clearly many more immersive mods that I love, but I couldn't really include them all in one video. You already have 20, leave me alone. You can also check out my brand new Patreon, which will make sure that this channel stays afloat for as long as you can. You can check out any tier you want for 7 days for free, and there will be a version of this video right here, on the Patreon that's a little bit longer with some deleted scenes, and some other jokes that just never made it on YouTube. And if this goes well, I'll probably have my next videos, all my next videos have the same treatment. That will be available in the middle tier, by the way. I want to thank everyone for any support you show, and it clearly doesn't have to be monetary, so... This is just an extra step that I wanted to include there, just to maybe one day I can uh, have this YouTube channel be my livelihood. Would be cool, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and if you haven't clicked away yet, thank you. It means a lot, but uh, I think it's time to click away now, so click on either one of these. And just leave me alone. Please check out the Patreon.